Hi guys, my name is D Sanders and I'm actually fairly new here on YouTube. I wanted to actually show you guys how I do my spicy chicken salad. The only thing that I'm going to do, I will not do today is prepping the chicken. The reason why I don't prep the chicken as of the day is because I don't want my spicy chicken salad to actually get soggy. So I'm here now at my restaurant at Divas Hot to Eat and I am um, starting my prep. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what do I use to make the famous spicy chicken salad that everybody loves and we sell out every single week from. So here are the ingredients. You have the salad dressing, the ranch the buffalo salad dressing. Um, I have one onion, one red onion, cherry tomatoes in various, various kinds. We have two actual tomatoes. I have actually one red pepper. We have a little bit over a half a red um, green pepper. These are actually real big. Um, I have two stalks of celery and these are like little pieces I had left over. We have two cucumbers, a half a teaspoon of thyme, I can't read these things, a half, sorry, half a tablespoon of thyme, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, we have one teaspoon of white pepper, one eighth cup of adobo, this is the kind that I use, the blue cap, then you have one fourth cup of parsley, this is one fourth cup of garlic powder, onion powder, and this is one third cup of onion powder. Those are the ingredients you're going to need. I already boiled you my bow tie noodles. So I have two pans that I'm going to prep here. I used two so it gave me space for me to actually um, put everything together without it falling out of the pan. So let's get started. stand here today so I actually have to do it this way so I'm going to seal these right now and I'm going to move everything that is not I'm not going to use at the moment so right now I'm just going to take the cherry tomatoes and slice them right in half the big ones like these I actually cut three times one two three and I'm just going to continue this method. That is to a side. I even them out from the two trays. So we're just going to cut this whole pan. Okay. These long ones I normally cut in half and then half again. I know some of y'all like, oh, she don't answer the phone. There's nobody but somebody trying to sell me something. Thank you. 
leave these whole. But I don't leave it whole for my customers. vegetables before you actually chop them up. This is the best way to cut an onion. I know a lot of people cut it this way. But if you cut off the ends and then cut it in half, it's actually extremely easier to remove the skin. You see? Slice. I have a slicer down here on the machine. I figure I'll be physically today. Now we're going to take this and chop it into some nice sized pieces. Fingers, you don't want to be like me and slice your fingertip off. That's what this is. It's here now. Right in the other pan. And I'm going to use a little bit of that. because we do want two onions. Now I have my red onion. I'm 
Number size. did the yellow onion. the red pepper. I'm going to cut that off and I'll slice it like this. Please make sure you move your fingers 
and chop them like little big pieces. show y'all how easy my life is without doing these, doing this chopping, and I recommend that you do it. You get one.
not dice that I actually have. It's nothing like big and popular, but it saves some time and your fingers. So I just hold up wrong way. Click that right on. Okay, I'll take this piece, whatever piece it comes with a variety of pieces. And I'll take this, see that open hole? Right in. So, let's move this down. I'll put this right here, the green peppers, and slap. Make your life so much easier. You just gotta add some pressure. Slap. Because, yeah, they, uh, they got, you know, better ones than these, but. But you see how fast that is? Other than you sitting there slicing and dicing. It kills your prep time. Got there. One little piece left. Cut this off. this for um, sugar powder and also scooping out the inside of the tomato so I just dig a little bit just like that and then turn it turn it and scoop so like this dig in turn it turn it scoop so now these I cut like this one, two, three, four. It's this size. One, two, three, four. So I'm gonna cut all of these, these tomatoes. So now we have 
a half a tablespoon of thyme. Y'all can see what I'm doing. Put the half a tablespoon of thyme. We have the one, what is that? A half a teaspoon. Mm, you can see that. Of black pepper. Let's even it out. This is one teaspoon of white pepper. One eighth of the adobo. This is one fourth cup of parsley. Just shake it until there's no more in here. This is one fourth cup of onion powder. And this is one third cup of garlic powder. That's all that's in there. Everything. Oh, guys, I almost forgot one thing. We want some of these bad boys in there, okay? Yes, they are organic. Majority of the vegetables that I put in here are organic, okay? The cherry tomatoes I put in here are organic. The tomatoes are organic. Um, the green peppers and the red peppers are organic. The onions are not organic, okay? The cucumbers are organic. So I try to, you know, my customers are on a health trip. So I try to actually please them with organic foods. So let's get back to chopping. These are already pre-washed. up and we're not going to slice all of them so just going to slice them in half like we did last time okay slice slicing I might do one more tomato. Uh, no, it does enough. So this up. You can actually use two lid, lids, put the tomatoes on, put a lid on top of it, and add a little bit of pressure, and you can slice the tomatoes in half. I don't do it because um, anymore. Is this time consuming? Well, then let me just do it as so. You might use all of these. Yeah, I'm just gonna use the whole container. These are sweet. Another cucumber. This is what you call um, an England cucumber. Okay, it is seedless. It has like little, little, tiny baby, baby seeds. But 
if you eat them in like salt and pepper, you cannot taste the seeds and like the regular cucumber. Okay. I think all this slice is a half. Let me rinse this off real quick. Let's wait for four because I got two pans. So I'll just slice this off. And slice it just like this. Did you see that? Yeah. Yeah, I thought I thought I was. <laughs> this place is full of lots of ghosts. I bet it is. Especially at night. <laughs> That's why I don't stay here no more. Oh, don't you? <laughs> Not well, no more at night. Nope. No, uh, Kathy. Kathy used to be in here till 10, 11, 12 o'clock working on candy buffets and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Uh, me too. When the wind blows off, it's so creaky and everything, yeah. Yeah, I used to stay here till like 3, 4 in the morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Not no sometimes more. it gives you the creeps a little bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not no more. All right, so these avocados are not completely ripe. They are still kind of hard, so I won't be able to put these avocados in today, guys. Because you see, I'm fighting with it. It's for it to open. That means that they are not white yet. Okay? So, none of them are. So, we're not going to put the avocados in today. But if you don't like avocados, you don't have to put avocados. If you love avocados, this is normally in my spicy chicken salad. Alright? And they are not white today, so I cannot put them in. You see how hard they are? So, I just leave them on the shelf and they will actually firm up. Well, soften up, not firm up. So, remember I said you have the spicy buffalo dressing. This is the one that I use. And I also use spice, the spicy kind. This is the buffalo one. I don't have the spicy kind today. So, I'm just going to open this up. lid off of them and just going to put it right in there. Pour, 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 pour. Let me see this guy. Let's turn this this way. Yeah. Pour, pour, pour. and I'll just let it sit for a while because there's still a lot inside there. So we're gonna do the other one. Let's do the next one. As you can see, let's pour it right in. So you wanna prep your chicken. Prep your chicken, season your chicken how you wanna season it. Let it simmer um, until the pinkness is gone and then just throw it in there. I use the sauce as well. forms a sauce, throw it inside there as well. Put the lid on that and let it sit over there to the side so all of that falls down to the bottom. No wasting, no wasting. Two 
You seen the lights flickering? Yeah. Poor, poor, poor. just leave it like this until I add my chicken and my avocado and everything. I don't know to see this, sorry. Until I add my chicken and my avocado. Right now I'm going to twist it up so y'all can see how it looks. Okay. I'm going to stir it all up. Now if you're at home, use a spoon guys or, you know, um, put on some gloves. <laughs> And toss it up, okay? You don't want your your, your dry and dead skin that falls off of our body every minute of the hour inside your salad, okay? So we're just going to twist this up, twist this up. Now, once you put the chicken in, the chicken gives it that um that 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 more flavor to it. The avocado brings it out as well all them seasonings we put inside there, okay? But you want to make sure you get all that salad dressing in there. You want to make sure you stir up all them seasonings. Stir it, make sure you get all of it, all of it in there. Okay? So, to me, I feel like I need a little bit more of parsley in here. So, I'm going to add a little bit more parsley. But I'm not going to add it right now. I will add it when I finish prepping the platter. before and the after so make sure you add your chicken if you don't eat meat you can just eat this as a vegetarian follow the steps and the ingredients and trust me it will come out super awesome this is this is one of my um, customers favorite solids other than from out all the salads that I normally have up here. So you can see I'm still over here prepping. So I make this in bulk and then I store it away inside my um, cooler, my deep cooler, and it keeps it cold until it's time for us to open up for the week. So come on back guys. Thank you for paying attention and staying tuned. And thank you for coming to Divas Had to Eat. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Send her my blessings, girl.